and New Testament. We know that 39 old book was written to the Jewish nation of people, which we can learn from as well. There were laws given to the Jews that were not given to the Gentiles. Then also we have the gospel as well, that, that which is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John as well. But those things are written before time, written for all the learning. That means we can learn from those things. Uh, when the apostle taught uh, during their time and they preached the word of God, they were always refer back to the Old Testament because the Old Testament was, 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 was talking about the thing that to come. And when Christ came, he revealed those things of the Old Testament. Then the apostle unfolded that mystery as well. And that mystery is referring to the church of our Lord as well also. The church that Jesus said on his rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail what? against it as well. So when the apostle came on the scene and Jesus went back to heaven, they preached. They preached the gospel and they preached also the church that Jesus said he will build. But I want to talk this morning from the subject of Moses and Christ. Moses and Christ. I want to try to turn out the two, show uh, the, the same about the two but we know that Christ is greater than Moses, right? Uh, he's, he's a greater prophet than Moses, right? Uh, he's a greater leader than Moses, right? But they did some things similar as well. When we look at the Bible, the word of God, right? Moses was a great leader, but he was not, he was not a greater leader than Jesus Christ, right? But when we look at the Bible, it was written for what? For our learning. But when we talk about Moses, Moses was a leader of the children of Israel. Yes. Now, I remember that Moses became one of Pharaoh. Uh, he became one of Pharaoh, prince of Pharaoh. Let's understand that Moses had to give up a lot of things to become a follower of Jesus Christ, of the God. Amen. Now, watch the word of God. Moses also had to suffer Jesus Christ had to suffer. Mm -hmm. Moses did not suffer like Jesus Christ, but Moses suffered, didn't he, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to show you, Moses had to give up some things. When you go back and look at the Bible, the Word of God, beginning in the book of Genesis, you will find that when we talk about getting to Moses, we know in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, right? Yes. In the beginning, God made of the plants and the animal and made man his own image and his own likeness, right? In the beginning, God formed man from the dust of the earth and God breathed into his nostrils and man became a living soul. And then God placed man in the garden of Eden, right? And God said, it's not good for man to be alone. So God gave man a help me. Somebody that was comparable to him. Somebody to work with him, not behind him. Somebody to work with him, comparable to him. So God put man in a deep sleep. And that deep sleep, he took a rib from the man. And he took the rib from the man, he made woman, right? And God, after this is bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She, be, she shall be called woman, right? God created the woman for the man. That's why the woman is the glory of the man as well. So God created her for him. So we find that also in the word of God that in Genesis chapter 3 we see the fall of man. And the devil is still in the cunning business. The devil is still walking around every day. Like a roaring lion seeking, he may devour. Right. The devil is still doing the same thing he did in the beginning. Yeah. He have no new tricks. He have no new tools. Yeah. The same thing he used on Eve, yeah. the same thing he used today as well. Yeah. He used the lust of the flesh, yeah. lust of the eye, uh -huh. and the pride of life. Yeah. These are the same thing he used today as well. The Bible said all the world, the lust of the flesh, Lust of the eye, 
in the pride of life. It is not of God, but the Bible says it is of the world, right? And the world pass away, but he that do the will of God should abide, what? Forever. Nobody going to heaven unless they, what? Do the will of God. So they failed. They failed in, and God drew them out of the garden. Put two flaming swords there. We want to get back to that tree of life, don't we? Amen. We want to be able to heal that tree of life one day, don't we? Amen. Well, I want to talk about the man who made it possible for us today as well. Yes. Because we must understand as well, we want to get back to that tree of life that Adam and Eve drew, but drew from that tree of life, and that God put flaming swords there. That they could not enter back into that tree of life and live forever. But we want to live forever. We must understand God sent somebody in the world to die for us. Yes. But I want to show you the difference between the, 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 the likeness between him and Moses as well. The likeness of him and Moses as well. Moses had to suffer, church. Moses had to give up some things to become a great leader of God. We must understand, we want to follow God. We must be willing to suffer for him as well. When I say suffer him, not suffer in wrongdoing. I mean suffer for righteousness sake. When I say suffer him, I'm willing to give up for him as well. Moses suffered for the Lord because Moses gave up some things that he had to become a follower of the Lord that watched the word of God. Look at Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 24. Watch God's word. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 24. Know what the word of God teaches. By faith, Moses. By faith. Now keep in mind, Moses done this by faith. See, faith is very important in our Christian walk. Amen. If we're going to walk with the Lord, yes. hear me this morning. Mm -hmm. We got to walk by faith. Amen. Second chapter 5, verse 7. We walk by faith, not by sight. Brother Rochelle, what is faith? Hebrew 11 1 says, Faith is the substance or the conviction of things that hope for. The evidence of things that what? Are not, not seen. Well, brother, Richard, how does faith come? Romans 10 17 says, Faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. and hearing by the word of God. Mm -hmm. So Moses, by faith, uh -huh. Moses gave up some things by faith. Yeah. As Christians, we must give some things by faith, yeah. knowing that we have a better reward on the other side, right? Yeah. By faith, we know that we've never seen Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. By faith, we know that he's alive, right? Yeah. we never see him walk on the face of the earth. Uh -huh. we never see him turn water into wine. Uh -huh. we never see him call the dumb to see uh -huh. or the lame to walk. We never see him walk on the sea of Galilee, but yet we believe he done it, right? Amen. That's faith, right? Amen. Amen. Bible said the other thing Jesus did. Yes. I'm not written. Mm -hmm. John chapter 20. Mm -hmm. But these are written. Yes. What are written? The miracle that he performed. That you might believe that Jesus Christ is what? The Son of God. Why did he perform miracles? Uh -huh. Not to take a plank around him. <laughs> Not for you to send some money in the mail. Well. But he done it for a reason. Amen. He done it to prove that he was the son of God. Amen. Why did the apostle perform miracles and raise the dead and heal the sick? They done it to confirm the word of God that proved that he was sent by God. We must believe today on the scripture. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our faith must be in the word of God, right? If our faith is not in the word of God, then we'll have no direction in life. Because yeah. the Bible says, oh Lord, the word is like a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway, right? God's word is a lamp. It helps us see in our direction in the walk of life. You tell me somebody ain't following the word of God, I tell you somebody walking in darkness. Mm -hmm. He don't know where he's going. He thinks he know where he's going. Yeah. Jeremiah says, oh Lord, I know the way is not a man. Mm -hmm. To the walk and the right what? 
his own step, right? If a man wants direction in life, the right way in life, he needs to listen to the Lord, right? Because the Lord's way is the only way. I'm the way, I'm the what? The truth and the life, right? Jeremiah said, the way is not in me. Why do you think our country's so messed up today? Because they, they love God. Man, he got the answer. He don't want the wisdom of God. The way is not in me. The way is in Jesus Christ. Both spiritual and more as well. It's in Jesus Christ. So Moses, by faith, now what Moses suffered? Moses suffered because became a great leader of Jesus Christ. Watch the word of God read. He was come to years. We come to years. To be now keep in mind. Moses was age of 40. When he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Mm -hmm. Moses killed a man. Yes, but Christ never killed anybody. Mm -hmm. Moses killed a man. And Moses had to leave and go unto another country. Uh -huh. And God brought him back at the age of 80. You never get too old to do work for the Lord. Amen. Amen. At the age of 80, Moses was a great leader, wasn't he? Yes. But Moses had to give up some days to become a great leader, right? Amen. In life, you have to learn to sometimes in life as a child of God, we have to give up some days to become a great servant for the Lord, right? Amen. Moses became a great leader because Moses had to give some things that were wrong. I mean, not necessarily wrong, but some things were inferior to him doing what God said. See, God will become first in our life, right? Now watch the scripture read. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. Now he chose. He could have enjoyed the beautiful palace of Pharaoh, riding on the fine chariots in that neck, <laughs> wearing all the gold around his neck, mm -hmm. the finest clothes in that day. Yes. But by faith, Moses knew there was a better place and a better reward on the other side. Why did Moses not know that? Because Moses' mother raised him in the house of Pharaoh. So she taught Moses God's way, right? And when Moses came to age, Moses chose this rather. See, the way of God is a choice. God's not going to make you serve him. You got a choice. You can choose which way of life you want to go. Amen. You can choose the way of life, mm -hmm. or you can choose the way of death, right? Amen. God don't make nobody serve him. So Moses chose to give up the powers of Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. He chose to give up his goal and ride on the fighting palace mm -hmm. and fast church. And rather to suffer with the children of God. See, if you want to reign with Jesus, you got to learn to suffer with him, right? Amen. And you want to be with him one day. Yes. You have to learn to suffer with him, right? Uh -huh. uh, the suffering might not be pleasant all the time, mm -hmm. but the reward is greater on the other side, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it might not be, uh, it might be painful sometimes to be cussed out as a child of God, mm -hmm. uh, be mistreated as a child of God, but the reward is greater on the other side, right? Uh, somebody said, well, I can't see that. Well, faith coming in there. Amen. Faith knowing that the conviction that there is hope and a better life on the other side. Amen. Amen. See, Moses chose mm -hmm. rather to suffer Amen. with the children of God. <laughs> Read. And to endure the pleasures of sin. For see, Moses sin. said, there's pleasure in sin. Let me move on to There's pleasure in sin. But Moses said it for a moment, right? See, 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 see that there is pleasure in sin, but it's just for a moment. Mm -hmm. See, life is for a moment. Mm -hmm. But eternal life, where you spend with God, are the devil's angels forever and forever. Mm -hmm. So Moses chose. Brother, to suffer with God's people. 
They enjoy sin for a season. <coughs> See, life is like a season. Life is like a moment. James said, what is your life? You see me today? I'm gone today. You see a paper? A myth is a period that's gone. Life is the same way. Your life is like a vapor. Your life is like a fish caught in a stir in a net. The fish is swimming, or a sudden you hit a net. He caught. That's the way death is. That's life. Time and chance happen to us all. Right. We don't know what's going to happen on tomorrow. Okay, We're not going to happen on today. So James, if you brag about what you're going to do on tomorrow, mm -hmm. you're boasting about tomorrow, but he said, you don't know what tomorrow will bring. Amen. None of us know what tomorrow will bring, right? Amen. We boast about it, but we don't know what tomorrow will bring. We have to say, if the Lord will. Amen. But we don't know what tomorrow will bring. Amen. Amen. And you can't put your trust in politicians either. Mm -mm. Put your trust in Jesus. Amen. He, he's what I put our trust in. Amen. So man, life like a vapor. It, 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 it proves up. I did it by saying, vanish what? The way. He suffered. Esteeming the reproach of Christ, greater riches. Now don't you esteem what? He value what? The reproach of Christ. As being suffering with Christ, being greater riches. Just think about that. The riches of Christ mm -hmm. are greater than all the riches of the world. Amen. It's greater than all what? All the riches of the world is greater. Sometimes we don't think like that because we have that, we have that, that, that natural all that natural man. Mm -hmm. So you know what to think like that, you gotta have that, that spiritual man. The spiritual man, that renewed mind, right? Mm -hmm. That renewed way of thinking, right? And I hope you understand what I'm saying. See, when you, when you understand that it's better riches for serving the Lord than the riches of this world. Mm -hmm. I was sharing with some people this morning, they asked a question about after death, what happened? <laughs> There's a God. Mm -hmm. There's a God. And when on that go, there was the wicked on one side mm -hmm. and the righteous on another side. Amen. That's a God. You will be there until the Lord come back with a shot of an arch, his archangel, and the dead in Christ will get up and be with him. And then we're going to be playing a play called Jehina, which is the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. That's, that don't sound good, don't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It, it don't sound good, but we got to tell the truth, right? Yeah. Something don't sound good for a Christian want to hear, right? Mm -hmm. I know it don't. It don't sound good to me neither. <laughs> but if you love the Lord, you preach truth. You got to tell the truth, right? Amen. You might not be the favorite preacher, mm -hmm. but you got to tell the truth, right? Amen. You might be what people like to hear. You got to tell the truth, right? Amen. Jesus, won't tell all men say good things about you. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He spoke well of all prophets too. Yes. But, but, but you get to see that what? Tell the truth, right? Because if you tell the truth, ain't no blood on your hand. Amen. Ain't no blood on your hand. So most of us suffer, right? But you got to enjoy sin for a season. Let's look at something there. Moses suffered. Christ also suffered. But let me show you what Christ gave up that we might become rich. What Christ gave up that we might become rich. Mm -hmm. You see, see, Moses looked for the, a greater riches, right? Yes. What Christ gave up something that we might become rich in Him, right? Mm -hmm. To watch the Word of God. Go to Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Now watch the word of God. Christ gave up help to come out here that we might become rich. Mm -hmm. Watch the word of God. Well, you know the grace of our Lord. And know the grace of God. We, the whole we, we, know, we know the grace of our God. The grace of our God. Now we do our grace. 
No, some people take grace and they think grace is a license to sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But grace is not a license to sin. Amen. It's just God's favor towards you, something you don't deserve. Mm -hmm. It really is something you really don't deserve. Mm -hmm. you, you don't deserve God's grace. But he loves you so much, he sent his son into the world and down the cross for you. That's God's grace. That's God's call. It said the grace of God come down from heaven, bring salvation, teaching us, as Titus 2, verse 11 and 12, teaching us to deny ungodliness and word of love, that we should live soberly, righteous, and godly work in this present word. Now that's another word on the other side. That's unseen word. And, and that other word we can't see right now, that's another word. That's an unseen word. But right now, this present world we are living in, it teaches how we are to live God's grace. Soberly, righteous, and godly work. In what? This present world, right? We are not in the present world, but one day we're going to leave this world. We don't know when we're going to leave this world. Amen. You need to prepare yourself for death. Yes. Be ready for death. Looking forward for the coming of the Lord. As well, God's grace. We're justified by God's grace. Not only we're justified by God's grace, but we're saved by God's grace. But not by grace alone. We're not saved by faith alone. For the grace of God brings salvation. As well, but we are saved by grace through faith. And watch that now. It's through faith, not yourself, it's a gift from God. See, grace is a gift from God. Now, we are justified by grace. We can fall from grace because they defy and fall. But Paul said that, that, that we not fall from God's grace, right? Now, let, let's get that because as I move on, look at Galatians 5 and 4. Galatians 5 and 4. See, we can fall from grace too. Still, bro, we're coming back. Galatians 5 and 4. Right. Christ did become of no effect. Now, he said Christ did become no effect. Unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, but justified by the law. You are falling from grace. Now Paul said, if you are justified by the law of Moses, you are falling from grace. So you can fall from grace. Yes, you are saved by grace. Yes, you are saved by faith. Yes, you are saved by repentance. You are saved by baptism. All of it is necessary to go to heaven, right? You can't leave none out. All of it is important. Not just, just grace alone, but all of it is what is important as well. But Moses gave up something to become a deliverer. Mm -hmm. Christ had to give up. And he suffered for us as well. Mm -hmm. Now watch 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Those are the word of God. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich. Now that Jesus was rich. Now that know that Jesus was rich. He was in hell. He was rich. He was rich. But he loved us so much. He wouldn't have come down here in this cruel world, sinful world, to die in man's place. Mm -hmm. And we can have hope of eternal life one day. He was rich in heaven. That we might become rich in him. Read. Yet for your sakes he became poor. He became poor. He said, the fox have hope. Mm -hmm. The bird have a neck. Mm -hmm. yes. But the son of man have nowhere to lay his head. Amen. He was a poor preacher because yes. he gave up his riches. Yes. They might come down here to die for us. Peter tell the lame man, we're a poor preacher. Mm -hmm. Peter said the lame man, the lame man will beg him on in Acts chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Peter said, we don't have no silver and gold, but something I have here, yeah, I give you in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. I don't have no money, but I can give you something more important than money. Yes. Yes. Jesus is more important than money. Amen. Oh, yes, when you got him, you got it all, right? Amen. He said, the fox have a hole, I say again. But he said, in the world, he said, hey, everything belongs to you, just borrow me. Amen. Yes. Amen. He said, I'm hungry, I'm going to tell you in the first place. Amen. He said, the child of God, he is a mind, the gold of mine, the silver of mine. He said, I'm hungry, I'm tell you, but he said, the world and the thing that are in the foot of all belongs to me. Amen. You just use it when you die, somebody else be like a pioneer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It belongs to the Lord. Uh -huh. You just borrow it. That's all you're doing. Oh, yeah. That's why David said in 1 Chronicles 29, David said, said, Lord, from your hand to my hand, I give back to you. Yes, sir. Yes, 
It's God's. It's not yours. It belongs to him. You just buy it while you're here. Amen. Christ suffered. Moses suffered. Both of them came great deliverance. Christ had both had to shed some blood. Moses did not shed blood like Christ shed blood. But all of them, Moses had to cross over to the Red Sea to be delivered from Egyptian bondage. Moses had to put some blood on the doorpost. They had to kill an animal. That's why the Bible says, they ain't written four times, written before I learned that your patient comes to We might what? Have hope. The law is a shadow thing to come, but not the very image of the thing, right? Amen. The law is a shadow of thing to come, but it's not the very image of the thing, right? That means when, when they kill the animal on the, for the Passover, because the Passover uh, angel is coming, and the angel is going to kill everything in Egypt, every firstborn in Egypt, but if there's no blood on the doorpost, God said, Moses, I want you to take a lamb for every house. And I want you to kill the lamb. Mm. Eat everything about the lamb. Right. And God said, Moses, I want you to take the lamb. Blood. And every family put blood on the doorposts up there. Yes. So when the, pass, when the angel passed over, mm -hmm. God said, I'm going to pass over your house. Uh -huh. That's why I'm glad I'm a member of the Church of Christ. Amen. Because we're bought by the blood of Jesus Christ, right? I know one day the Lord will send his angels back. There ain't no blood been shed for us. He ain't gonna, he, he, he gonna destroy that house. But if you see blood on the house, and blood been purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ, and that blood was shed, the Bible said when they pierced it in his side, John 19, 34, out came running blood in what? Acts chapter 20 and 28, said, feed the church of God, we had purchased with his own blood. It was blood shed it for the church of Christ. It was blood shed it for the house of God. And God tell Moses, so I want you to understand, put some blood on the doorpost of that. And when the angel come across it, uh, he see the house. He's not going to destroy anybody in the house. But every house will have blood on the doorpost. God said, I'm going to destroy every firstborn in that house. Jesus shed his blood. Moses had to shed some blood also. We had to do with animal blood. See, animal blood didn't take away sin. Amen. But John, when he saw Jesus, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God who take away what? The sin of the world. What did the blood of Jesus do? Mm -hmm. Even though the bull, bull, goat, or bull, and goat could not take away sin. But when Jesus died on that cross, his blood went back, picked them up, Amen. and it's still going forward today as well. Yes. The blood is still coming down. And by faith, we know the blood is cleaning us from our sin. We can't see the blood. Amen. We can't see Christ in us in the baptism. But by faith, we know that when we come out of that water, we've been risen what? With Jesus Christ, right? We can't see him set up in heavenly places, right? But by faith, we know that the Lord is set up in heavenly places, right? Amen. We know it by faith. So we understand, Moses had to suffer. Christ suffered. Yes. Moses had to also kill the animal, put blood on the doorpost. Mm -hmm. Christ had to shed some blood also. But because Christ shed his blood, man still had to do something. The blood will remove sin. When men do what Jesus says, right. the blood was on the doorposts, but the children of Israel was still in bondage. At mm -hmm. wow. chapter 12, yes. but they had to leave Egypt. Uh -huh. We must also repent as well. Yes. Yes. Be willing to leave sin as well. Egypt is a type of sin. Pharaoh is a type of the devil. God's children were in bondage. For 430 years, an Egyptian bondage and slave and taskmaster. Do you not know when you are not serving God, you are a slave to the Amen. devil? Amen. You are a slave to Satan, right? Amen. Are you a slave unto Satan? 
But you are slave to the work of the flesh as well. Mm -hmm. So you are in bondage as well. But Christ came to deliver you from that bondage yeah. as well. Just as Christ, Moses came to deliver you in Israel from bondage, mm -hmm. but they still was not saved. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they weren't saved. Mm -hmm. They still in bondage. Yes. Moses never had to get up mm -hmm. and get out of Egypt, right? Amen. They had to leave Egypt. As they leave Egypt, but Pharaoh was still on their back. Yes. Pharaoh thought he had everything covered. Yes. He had soldiers everywhere. Yes. But the Bible said the children of Israel got fearful. Mm -hmm. Except chapter 14, you'll read it sometime. They got fearful. And they said, Moses, why did you bring us out here? Mm -hmm. You should have left us in Egypt. You brought us out here to build graves out here, out here. But the Moses, we were to die in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Moses said, stand still. <laughs> See, sometimes we need to learn to stand still and God can fight our battle. We try to fight and worry ourselves, and we can't win by ourselves. See, yeah. see you can't, you can't, you, you can't, you can't defeat Satan. You ain't smart enough. That's right. That's right. Satan's too crafty and cunning for you. Yes. He's he too smart for me. I need Jesus on my side, right? Yeah. They were the hardening crime. Moses, stand still. Watch the Lord fight your battle for you. Amen. Did you not fight it? Yes, Moses, stand still, right? Stand still. And watch the Lord fight your battle for you. God will fight your battle if you're only trust in Him. You have a problem with your family, you fight your battle. You have a problem with your job, you fight your battle. Whatever your problem is, you have to learn to let God fight your battle. Quit trying to fight yourself Amen. and do what the Lord says. Yes. And the Lord says, stand still and see what? The salvation of the Lord. And Moses stretched that rod right out. Red Sea opened up. Yes, sir. Moses said, go forward. Mm -hmm. As they went forward, they went down into that Red Sea. Mm -hmm. Wall on this side. Mm -hmm. Wall on that side. The cloud over above them. Mm -hmm. They were covered. It's a type of baptism. Amen. Mm -hmm. They were covered. It was a type of baptism. They went down in the water. And as they went down in the water, came up out of that water. The Bible said they came up out of the water. That's a type of resurrection. Mm -hmm. Out of the water. Mm -hmm. And when they came up out of the water, Pharaoh's army came down the water. Yes, they did. And they went down the way of the sun. Pharaoh's army was strong. Yeah. Yeah. In the Red Sea, right? Yeah. Oh, Mary, don't, don't you weep, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's true, right? That's true. Yeah. You know that Pharaoh's army was dry, what? In that Red Sea, right? And they went down in that Red Sea. And the Bible said God destroyed Pharaoh and his army in the red. See, Pharaoh is a type of it's sin. Uh -huh. And when we go out in that water baptism, uh -huh. our sin are washed away. Amen. That's why you can't be sprinkled. Yeah. You can't be poor on. Yeah. You got to be judged between Israel. The Bible said they went down the water. There was wall on this side, wall on that side, and the cloud covered them. Yes, they were covered. Amen. And when they came out of the water, uh -huh. the Bible said, it's your chapter 14. Y'all yeah. read, I preached too long. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the story. <laughs> but, 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 but the Bible said that day the, that the Israelite was saved. Mm -hmm. yes. When were they saved? Not when the blood was cold. It was necessary. Mm -hmm. Not when they started marching. Mm -hmm. But when they crossed yes. the Red Sea, yes. the Bible said this day uh -huh. the children of Israel was saved from the Egyptians. When they were saved? When they cross the Red Sea, the Red Sea is a type of baptism. Mm -hmm. I think I better read that somebody. Look at that, First Corinthians chapter ten. Let's look at that right quick. Watch the word of God. First Corinthians chapter ten. Watch the word of God. Know what the scripture says. First Corinthians chapter one, verse ten. Know the word of God. Well, watch the word of God. And know what it says. Mm -hmm. Want to read? First Corinthians chapter, chapter 10, verse 1. Mm -hmm. More brother. Go ahead. Brethren. More brother. I would not that ye shall be ignorant. Now Paul would be ignorant. Come to the children of Israel. Read. How did all our fathers were under the cloud? Under the cloud. They were under the cloud. You know that cloud guided them? 
in the day, it was, it was, it was, it was light for them at night. See, God going to take care of his people. Amen. Amen. He's going to take care of his people. So you, you have to learn how to trust in God. No matter what the situation you are facing in life, you got to learn how to put your trust in God. Amen. Whether it be sickness, Amen. trust God. Yeah. God will help see you through it. Because, see, nobody can be God fighting a battle. Oh, yeah. You know, I read in the 26, hmm. where the Bible said, God would take 10 right. and whip a thousand. <laughs> See, it, it don't take God, it don't take men for God to fight a battle. Amen. God can take a hundred and triple that and beat ten thousand. Because God is fighting the battle, right? Amen. That's why the Bible says, Grace he is in you, you want the Holy Spirit. That he is what? In the world, right? Who is in the world? Satan is of the world, right? And so God is greater than Satan. Since God is greater than Satan, there is no battle that God cannot win. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your ball may be treating you bad. You're doing it right every day. Lord. Keep praying for him. Yes. God fight your battle. Right. You bring your, your, enemy, your enemy to come, your footstool. Yes. Yes. He makes the enemy at peace with you. Mm -hmm. You have to learn that God fight your battle. Yes. And when God fight your battle, the enemy will be your footstool. And you make peace with your enemy when God fights your battle. Yes, See, can anybody be God, church? I, I know no less, but can anybody be God? <laughs> nobody can be God. Let's keep that in mind. Oh, we need to keep that in our mind. Nobody can be God. Amen. Go ahead, read. And all pass through the sea. All pass through the sea. And we're all baptized unto Now, now what, 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 what type of baptism was that? Well, they baptism, right? When I told you about how they went down the Red Sea, how the wall on one side, the other side of the wall was standing up. And a cloud covered them on top of them. It was a baptism. They called it the baptism of Moses. Mm -hmm. Now, now the Bible speaks of serpent baptism. Mm -hmm. Tell the baptism of Moses, baptism of fire, mm -hmm. baptism of the Holy Ghost, yes. baptism of water, yes. baptism of suffering, mm -hmm. and the baptism of, of, of the lake of fire. It mm -hmm. talked about several baptisms, yes. but there's only one baptism today, Amen. and that's water baptism. Amen. And we must do the same thing they did. Get rid of our sin. Amen. If we want our sin to be remitted, or be a remission of sin, even though we have an enemy behind us, Satan behind us, and he's trying to get in, he's trying to be in front of us, yeah. he don't stop. We must keep in mind that we have somebody to fight our battle. And when we do like God say, go out in that water, get our sins washed away, as Paul said to, and I said to Paul, why tarry there? Rise, be baptized, get your sin washed away. Now, as I close on this, I want to show you something before I close. Moses suffered. Mm -hmm. Christ suffered. Yes. Moses became a great leader. Moses had a high. Uh -huh. Christ had a high. I didn't show you that today, but that's Hebrew chapter 3. You want to read it sometime. Moses had a high. Christ had a high. Mm -hmm. Christ's house is the church. Christ is greater than Moses, right? right? As well. Moses also had put blood on the doorposts of the people of the household. Christ shed his blood for the church. He died for as well. And when the angels come back in the last day, mm -hmm. they're going to see the blood bought church that were purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. And the angels are not going to do nothing to the Lord's house. Everybody not in the Lord's house will be destroyed. Amen. Yeah. Won't you go down with Christ in baptism today? Get your sins washed away. Come out of the water. Yes, the devil's waiting on you. He had you back there. He said, I lost you. But when you come out of that water, he said, I'm going back at you again. You know, Judas betrayed the Lord yes. for 30 pieces of silver. Right. When Christ comes out of that water, the Bible said he will live through the wilderness for 40 days, yes. being tempted of the devil. Because uh -huh. you be baptized, it don't mean the devil's not going to tempt you anymore. Because you be baptized, it don't mean you're not going to suffer anymore. Amen. 
Because you be baptized don't mean you don't have no more problem in your life anymore. But one thing God assured you, if you stay faithful unto death, if you stay in the body of Christ, one day he promised you an eternal life in heaven. The devil can't touch that. Amen. He can't touch it. You need to come to the Lord this morning. Give your life to him. Look what Jesus did for you. Yes, he died. He was buried. He rose again on the third day. Are you willing to repent? Believe that to be true. Are you willing to repent? Repent is necessary. Repent or you want to perish, right? You know, some people say, well, well repent is unnecessary. Repent, yes, repent is necessary. Jesus put much emphasis on that. Repent is necessary. Then be willing to confess Christ as being the Son of God. Then go down and walk. Baptism. For the remission of your sin. Get your sin washed away. Come out of the water. Your fresh born baby. Mm -hmm. Can learn how to, all, how to walk with me in that. Oh, yeah. do a lot of stomach. Yes, sir. Don't let the devil tell you all you must give up. Don't quit. Because quit coming. You ain't going to do right. That, that's the trick of the devil. Yes, you stay in the church. Yes, don't let the devil put that in your mind. Keep trying. Amen. You fall today, get back up. Amen. And, and, and the devil knows you ain't going to be perfect. You already know that. But you must understand that if you want to make the help, you got to stay in the faith. You got to stay in the church. You got to grow. Grow every day to be more what? Like Jesus Christ. Don't let the devil tell you that you can't do it. Yes, you can do it, but you can't do it by yourself. Amen. That's why you need to be in Christ. Amen. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who what? Strengthen me. Be strong in the Lord and the power what? of his might. Yes, you need prayer today. We'll pray for you as well. The affection for our prayers of the righteous man. What? Avail as much. We'll pray for you. Yes, you can win this battle with Christ on your side. This war is not yours. Amen. The war is the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let him fight your battle for you. If you're here, you want to be saved, won't you come? I have decided.